Uh oh.
I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. I can't believe we may see the Super Fortress built in my lifetime. I hear you're going to help us. I hope you're up for the task. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Watch your step, sister. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Watch your steps, sister. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. 
I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. You think I'm handsome? Wow, I wonder if she does too. There's an outpost near here. The signs say, Crimson Caravan? It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Except she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in... I would thank you forever. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Oh, well, let me know when you do. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. See ya. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Oh, well... Like I said, I can never get enough scrap metal. Okay. Bye.
McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know, and why? Nice-looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Well, you don't have to do that anymore. Sounds like I better hurry to him. Any chance the boomers would let me visit Nellis? This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Hey there, friend. I'll see you around. Hello. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Certainly. What would you like to know? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Well, the gunrunners continued to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. It's been a pleasure. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? The name's Hostetler. Don Hostetler. Can I help you with something? You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire.
Real. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Later. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Lafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Welcome back. Most merchant companies, successful merchant companies rather, have them. It can be inconvenient to replace employees on short notice. The contracts keep employees around for a specific duration of time, after which they get paid. After their upkeep and expenses are deducted, of course. Food, water, living quarters, medicine and clothes, just the basic stuff. It all comes out of the company's coffers. Yes, and they have been for decades now. The hired hands know what they're signing up for. We don't hide anything with fancy talk. That's because we are. We always pay up when the contract ends, though. Won't stay in business long if you've got a reputation as a cheat. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Intriguing. Janet puts in a good word for me, and the Crimson Caravan gains exclusive access to the boomers. Yes, that works for me. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? That's great! I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you.
I'm happy you came along. You are the answer to our dreams. Hi. I can't believe I'm going to meet my red-headed lady soon. I'm really nervous about it. Bye. I hear you're going to help us. I hope you're up for the task. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while, so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Nick. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Bye. Lafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy.
for the Brotherhood. the Brotherhood. the Brotherhood.
for the Brotherhood. Trouble. 